In this video, I'll show you how to send notification on WhatsApp when file is uploaded in OneDrive automatically. So assume that you are creating some file, some design or maybe a blog and after the successful creation, you always have to upload that file into OneDrive and even after the file upload, you also have to text it to your team on specific WhatsApp number that, hey, I have successfully uploaded the file. You can check that file. You can review that file. But what if I tell you that after successful file upload you do not have to manually text to a specific number because every time you will upload the file into the OneDrive a notification will be sent automatically on a specific number yes it is possible we just need to integrate OneDrive and WhatsApp in such a way that every time a new file is uploaded into a specific OneDrive folder a notification will be sent automatically after every file upload so if you also want to to automate this process come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is my OneDrive application and here I'm going to upload a file and you will see how after every successful file upload a notification will be sent on a specific WhatsApp number and here for sending the WhatsApp messages I'm going to use WhatsApp cloud API service which is an official API of WhatsApp which Facebook has launched okay so I'll have to first build a connection in OneDrive and WhatsApp cloud API and I'm going to do that with Pabli Connect it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect I will also attach this link into my description box for your reference now if you are a new user of pabli connect you'll have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test such kind of amazing automation I am already an existing user so firstly I have clicked on sign in then I have clicked on this pabli connect access now among all the application and this is how I have reached to the dashboard of Pabli connect and after reaching here the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I'm providing the name something like when file is uploaded in OneDrive send okay it should be sent notification on whatsapp okay i am providing this particular name now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these are actually trigger and action okay so here trigger means when this happens action means do this okay let me show you when this happens do this okay understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever any file is uploaded into one drive application automatically send a notification on whatsapp via whatsapp cloud api application okay so this is how we need to always select the application in which we are building an automation okay and in this particular case i'm building an automation in between Microsoft OneDrive and in between WhatsApp Cloud API and I have selected both these application in this trigger and the action uh, window okay and I am going to do the setup of WhatsApp Cloud API later firstly I'm going to connect this with the Pabli connect okay so firstly I'll be selecting this trigger event and then simply click on this connect button click on add a new connection click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive provide the access of your OneDrive application here all right so I have provided this access and here you can see it is connected and firstly it is asking to provide the folder name okay for which you'll have to read these instructions one by one okay so an, an instruction is already provided here okay so I have the folder name as this okay let me show you the folder name is actually this all important designs and files okay so I'm going to copy the name of this particular folder all right where is the folder name let me show you so instead of copying this name how about I manually write this name okay so the folder name is all important designs and files okay coming back and I will be writing this folder name as all files all important files and designs 
and as per the instruction i will also have to add this slash okay so let us add this slash and the event type of course it will be now new file created only now i have clicked on this button save and send test request and here you will see that a blank response has been generated okay so currently we do not have any file inside our folder so that is why a blank response is there if i will upload some file here you will see how the response will consist of the details of this file okay so assume that i'm actually working on creation of some notes okay so i'm going to upload that notes file here in front of you okay so these are the neat revision notes for the biology all right i'll have to wait for this file to be uploaded into my onedrive folder all right so file is uploaded coming back to pably connect and now i'll be clicking on this button save and send this request once again and wait for the response to be received well we have received this blank response once again i'll have to check that what exactly i have done okay so the folder name here i have specified as all important files and design i'll have to check all important all right i have not uh, typed the uh, folder name correctly it should be all important designs and files okay so how about i corrected designs and files it should be okay let me correct the same and this time i am really expecting the response to be received automatically after clicking on this button and i have already click on the button and here you can see after that a response is received let me show you the details one by one so here we have this web url here we have the size here we have the path here we even have the folder name let me show you other details as well all right we also have the file name that is neat revision notes okay let me show you it is the same file name okay what are the other details we have actually received here all right so we also had this a downloadable url okay so if i will open this url into a new tab you will see the same file is actually a downloadable file so this is really an important thing because if that file is downloadable we can easily share this file to different application to different places okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation of our integration which was connecting onedrive and pably connect and capturing the data of onedrive here is successful okay and now i am going to send a notification of this file upload on a specific whatsapp number okay so firstly i have already searched for this whatsapp cloud api and as i have told you earlier it is an official api of whatsapp which facebook has launched and for sending the most whatsapp messages i'm going to use this application okay simply click on add a new connection and for the connection it will ask you the token the phone number id and the whatsapp business account id okay so let me show you how you can reach out to the dashboard of whatsapp cloud api so you will have to type this developers.facebook.com in your browser and this is how you will reach out to the landing page simply create an account here okay i am already an existing user and i am already logged in okay so that is why it is showing my apps here okay as soon as i'll click on this my apps i will reach to the dashboard of whatsapp cloud api and after reaching here you can see i have created several apps okay so you also have to create an app once you will create an account in this whatsapp cloud api okay if you're not sure how you can create this app don't worry i will attach a separate video into my description box that how the app creation is possible okay once the app is created you will now have to access your app i am actually open my app which is my connect message app and after that from the left hand sidebar search for this whatsapp then search for this getting started option okay and here exactly we will find all three details basically the token the whatsapp business account id and the business id okay so this is the token i am going to copy the same and paste it here and and here let me show you let me tell you a very important thing that currently i'm using this temporary access token and this token will expire in 23 hours but make sure if you are actually building this connection for sending the real time messages to your customers to your real clients in that case you do not you you cannot use this temporary access token you will have to use the permanent token which you will have to generate okay so simply click on this hyperlink visit this document 
presentation and by following up this process by following up these tutorials you can actually generate a permanent token and provide here okay so i am repeating this again that you will have to generate a permanent token here i am using this temporary access token just for the testing purpose okay coming back and here you will find the phone number id again i am going to copy the same in front of you and lastly it is asking for the whatsapp business account id okay so i have again pasted the same simply click on save and this is how the whatsapp cloud api account will be connected with the public connect okay and the very first thing it will ask you to select the template name Alright, so here you can see since we are connected, whatever the templates are available inside my WhatsApp Cloud API account have started visible here. From where you can access this template section, okay. So under this step two, you will find an hyperlink of here, okay. Directly can click on this here option, and this is how you will reach to the uh, message template section of WhatsApp Cloud API, and here you will find various templates which I have created, okay. So what are these templates all about so basically whenever you want to send any kind of whatsapp message to your customer to your client using some whatsapp official api firstly you will have to create a message template then you will have to submit it for the approval and if the whatsapp will approve the meta company will approve that template then only you will be able to send the messages to your customers okay so here you can see lot of templates i have created and few few of them are actually active few of them are even rejected and few of them are still into the review mode okay so this is how you can create your message template okay so i will show you that which template i have created for sending the file notification all right so i'll have to search for that template which i have created okay and here you can see file notification all right i'm sorry for that i have mistakenly typed this notification spelling wrong okay and and this application i'm sorry for that this template is actually still into the review mode okay so let me show you the details of this particular template all right so the name of this template is file notification and the language i have selected is the english okay i have not included any header along with my message template all right let me show you other details as well okay so from here exactly you can also check that what kind of message i have composed okay so in this message i have have written this particular text hello team file has uploaded in the folder this please review the file and let us know the changes here's the link here's the file link thanks okay and you must be thinking that what is this number within the curly braces okay so i have specifically added these two variables inside my message and these value will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you will have to add those values in the form of variable okay and in the inside the public connect we will provide the values okay to these variables okay asking for the footer and buttons again these two options were actually optional so that is why i have not included any button any footer and again it is completely up to you and from the right hand side you can also preview the very same message from here i hope everything is visible to you okay let me maximize it so that you can see the data see the message very clearly okay it is the same message file has uploaded and this is how the header text will will appear okay and this is how the message will appear and in place of those value those variables the values will come automatically okay and do not forget to provide the sample values before you submit it for the approval okay what are samples well this is just a sample content uh, which will appear in place of these variables basically we are telling the system that what content will appear in place of this these variables okay so how about i directly copy the file name okay well i cannot use this message template currently because i have submitted it for the approval and it is still into the review mode okay so i am not actually uh, i cannot actually use this template so how i am actually going to send the notification well in place of this particular template i am going to 
to use some different template which I have created earlier okay and that template is actually a very small template okay let me show you this is the template the name of the template is Google Drive file okay here also I have included two variables that is one and two okay let me again show you the preview of this particular template all right so how about I copy the name of this particular template okay coming back to Pabli connect and then I am going to search for the very same template here all right I have selected the same and you will see as soon as I will select the template name the number of variables I have included in my message template will be visible inside Pamli Connect. Okay, so let's say in this particular case I have two variables. So these two variables will visible here. Okay, so let me show you here. I have this body field one, body field two. Okay, in place of this body field one, two, these are actually the variable values only. Okay, here we are going to provide the variable values only. Okay, asking for the language code and the selected template ID. Well, it is going to be as it is. You do not have have to do anything now finally it is asking for the recipient mobile number okay so whatever the message whatever the number you will provide here make sure that you provide the number into this particular format only basically with the country code without plus sign okay so in front of you i am adding a random number but don't worry i will replace this number with a genuine number when i am about to finally click on this button okay because i i really want to show you how messages can be sent or notification can be sent or received on a specific whatsapp number asking for the body field one body field two okay so what was this body field one all about hello dash okay so here either you can write the team or you can also specify the name of the person okay so how about i write something like hello dummy user or dummy team member hello dummy team member okay it is looking good body field two was all about the file link i guess well from where i am going to provide the file link well remember we have received the file link into our previous step so how about i directly map the file id yes you heard it right we are going to map this file id okay so we do not need to manually copy this file and paste it here you just need to click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and this is how you can map these values okay now you must be thinking that what is the significance of mapping so whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically as soon as this automation will work in real time okay and whatever the details you are going to provide manually will remain same okay so this is how you can provide the values manually or with the help of mapping as per your requirement now finally i will replace this number with my genuine number and then i'll click on that button and you will see how the messages will be sent Alright, so I have provided my genuine number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the message to be received and here you can see the message is already arrived. Hello demo team member. There is a new file uploaded in Google Drive and here is the file link and if I will open this file, it is actually the same file basically the neat revision notes which are actually downloadable also. Okay, so this is how after every file upload into one drive you can automatically send the notification on whatsapp number so that you do not have to manually text about every file upload okay and to do that you just need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can simply close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of this workflow inside my description box okay you just need to click on that link and sign up into the Pabli connect and then you will be able to access the very same workflow very same automation inside your Pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video